Where did that weekend rank for you in the history of your football weekends, Charles Wilson? Hey, hey, Rich, that was a that was a glorious weekend. I mean, unbelievable. Starts off on Thanksgiving with a huge Raiders win. Then all of a sudden we go into the weekend and what I feel like is a, a, a must-win game in terms of legacy and you know having everything on the table, everything in front of us for the University of Michigan. And they went out there and beat our arch, arch rivals, man. And I got to tell you, man, I couldn't be more proud of that team and the way that they played. Man, they came out with fire, intensity, passion. And, and, and you could tell, man, that it meant something to them. And I think that, to me, is just the most important thing. Um, I was able to watch a special with Aiden Hutchinson and Josh Ross uh, Saturday morning, and they just talked about what the rivalry meant and those guys. You know, being the seniors, man, and, and knowing that they, they just had to get it done, and they did it. Um, being able to, you know, be there for the coin toss and be an honorary captain. And then, man, hopping on the plane, coming on to Green Bay, and see my name go up in the stadium. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, you know, you, you ask, you know, where did this weekend rank? Uh, I tell you what, there's not many better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just unbelievable. Let's let's take uh, each part uh, a little bit uh, each time here. Charles Woodson on on the Rich Eisen show here, and let's start let's start with the the one that you and I share together, uh, the one in Ann Arbor. I mean, it, it 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 felt different this year that this team was different. They were built different. They were playing differently, and that they were being coached differently. And and it. Obviously, this was the litmus test, and it and it passed. What 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 do you think was the difference this year compared to the previous ones, Charles Woodson? Knowing the program as well yeah, as you do, yeah, 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 yeah. I think um, you know, Rich, you've been watching this game for the past you know several years, and you know one of the things that for me that was really glaring is it, it seems like um, in this game especially in terms of defense, it seemed like we never adjusted to you know, what what they were trying to do to us or um, look at what they were doing the week before and be prepared for that the week that we played them. And I think the addition of Mike McDonald, McDonald cannot go um, – he can't be under, you know, understated or overstated enough, you know, what he did with that group of men and getting them to buy into what he was doing as a coach. Uh, get those guys, you know, some of them to play differently than they've played before. I mean, if you think about uh, Aiden Hutchinson, you know, a guy who, you know, can get after the passer uh, better than just about anybody in the country, and then also see him be able to drop out in coverage and, and cover in the flats and go out and make tackles and be a presence not only in the rush game but also tackling in space. I mean, this team came out fired up, and you could tell, man, that they, they truly bought into it. And I just, you know, going back to, you know, watching that special with Josh Ross and, and Aiden Hutchinson, we're talking about, you know, Aiden's dad went to Michigan, uh, Josh Ross's brother went to Michigan. So they know this rivalry in and out, man. And they know what it, would, what, what it would mean for them to go out, you know, beating that school and finally, you know, getting back on the right side of that scoreboard. So, I just think, man, buying into what was going on was the biggest difference this year. What was it like in that house? What was it like in the house that day? Oh man, it was it was great, man. You know, for me, I was you know I was working you yeah. know, before the game, working Fox, and you know, all of a sudden got the snow flurries coming down. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it just it just felt like a great day <laughs> to be in the big house. You know what I mean? And, I kept telling the guys on the set, man, I don't know what it was, but I just I, I, I just felt I felt differently that guy. I mean, I don't know how the team, you know, and the coaches were feeling, but something about, you know, that particular day, man, I, I could just feel it, man. And the whole day on the show I just kept mentioning to the guys that, man, this is this is a business trip. You know, I, I hope that the team approaches it that way because I was approaching my day in the show as a business trip as mm-hmm. if I was going out there to play that game. So uh, they did. They called. They they, they 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 treated it as a business trip, and the stadium was electric. The people came out. The energy was there, and I'm getting excited right now talking to you, Rick. Yeah, I, I'm, I, oh, yeah. I feel like running through a door right now. I do too, Charles. That's why I wanted to talk with you. And I don't know if you're aware of this, but I'll tell you anyway as well. Um, you know, I I've been enjoying this win even better 
day after day, hour after hour. It gets better. It gets better. It's like Thanksgiving leftovers, as I mentioned on the show the previous day. Um, it, it, it tastes better every single day. I don't know if you're aware that your wine, the Intercept wine, is perfectly paired with whoop ass. I, I opened a bottle after that game, um, and, and you can pair it with whoop ass like that game in the second half perfectly. It tasted better. Charles, I don't know if you're aware of that. You're, you're, you're I, one. I, I, I am aware of it, and, and what's interesting, uh, which is because for me, there's never a dull moment. I'm over in the pier, Wisconsin, and I'm signing bottles of Intercept wine and whiskey, and whiskey right now. Right, right now. Cool. Yeah, because we're hearing stuff right, in the right, background. Right, right, it sounds yeah, like right, you're right doing right something. I, I'm, I'm, signing, I'm signing bottles right now. And, okay. And to, to your point, yes. there's a lot of people that are picking up the whiskey wine and, and the whiskey bourbon whiskey. So right. not only did it go down well with... The ass whooping we, we we put on those guys <laughs> on Saturday, but also yesterday's game. Yeah, the Packers and the Rams. I mean, this 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 with some whiskey and intercept wine is going down so well this weekend. That <laughs> I got a lot of people that need it, man. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.